Hi everyone, uh, Danny here with another Google training video. Uh, in this video I'd like to take a look at Google Forms and in particular how to use Google Forms to make a self-marking quiz. Let's take a look. Right, so to get started, I'm in my Google Drive. I need to call up Google Forms. So um, I'm gonna go up to the top left corner here, click on New, and under New, I'm gonna go down to Google Forms. And before we, we go into sort of my blank one I'm gonna use, just to talk through the fact there are some templates you can use already. So if there are some sort of templates here for things like RSVPs and uh, signing up for T-shirts, um, registering for events, and so on. If you take a look in here, you may find some ready-made forms that you can use already. And there is a blank quiz down here as a, um, as a template I'm gonna ignore those I'm gonna start completely from scratch so I'm gonna close that down so I'm gonna go with um, a blank one completely so I'm gonna click on new forms and then blank form so what it'll do is open up Google Forms and give me a blank page first thing to do will be to give it a give it a name so I'm gonna just call it a, a science quiz and if I click up here obviously that's gonna make it that name so that'll help me to find it later on I could add a form description so with a bit of explanation is what I want it to do leave that for now let's get straight into the, the adding the questions I want it to be self marking so I'm going to stick to multiple choice questions you could choose multiple choice or short answer questions and, and have it self mark those it's possible to do longer answers and then have them held for you to mark and you can go through and view all the responses and, and mark them I'm going to stick to multi choice and, and keep it simple for now so I've got my, my first question here and basically to add more questions I just keep clicking on that plus and it'll add question after question after question so I'll do that again in a sec. So question one, I'm going to type in my question which is a mammal and I'll add my first option so I might go for shark, I might go for um, elephant and I might go for snake. Okay, um, I'm not going to add the answers yet. I'll just add two or three questions first and then we'll go back and start adding the, um, the self-marking bit. So that's a multiple choice question. If I wanted to change the type of question I can have check boxes and drop downs and, and so on. So if you was making this as a survey there's lots of other options that you can put into here and I'll do a video about forms for surveys um, another time. So there's my first question. Click on the plus and we'll have another question. So not a, not a reptile So we'll stick with those two questions for now. Now what I haven't got in here is collecting information about the, um, the person doing the quiz. So what I might want to do is add another question here, bring that up to the top, and I might ask for what is your name, and I'll have that as a as a short answer question there they can put their name in now if you add this as a quiz you can set it to collect email addresses um, and that's quite useful because um, then you can email them the results as well starting with that there's my three there's my question quiz what is your name which is the mammal which is not a reptile I'm gonna go up to the top here and click where it says settings um, I could tick there for collect email addresses and that will have a, a question asking for please put your email address in here and we'll email them their responses I'm going to click on the tab here that says quizzes and I'm going to click that one that says make this a quiz. So if I make this a quiz it'll now have uh, auto marking and auto marking will be set up. Um, the person doing it can either then see the results at the end so they can see their score straight away or later after manual review. So that means that you could then go through and mark it. It'll mark all the the multi-choice questions and then you can review it, um, review the short answer questions, allocate different amounts of points or whatever. So I'll, I'll leave it as immediately for now. So now what I get for each question I get answer key down here. So I'm going to leave what is your name because I'm hoping they're going to get that one right. Let's go down to which of these is a mammal. Let's click in there. Down where it says answer key I'm going to select the correct answer and allocate it a number of points. I could add some feedback here if I wanted to, so I could add an explanation. Um, if they get it wrong, I can add some description here. No, that's not correct. Think about what the features of a mammal are, blah, blah, blah. I can add that as a, as a text feedback. I can either add a link to a, a website, might have more information. I could even add a YouTube video, um, which gives some explanations as well. Um, I could even add some feedback if they get it correct as well. So yes, well done. Uh, which of these is not a reptile, same thing, click in here, click on the answer key. Now the correct answer there is frog, and again I'll allocate that one point. And I'll click on done. And that's basically it, you keep doing that for all of your questions. 
If you want to change the way your form looks, it's quite easy to add a different kind of theme. You can click on the paint palette up the top here. You can choose a header image, you can choose a color theme, you can choose your fonts if you want to go to town on there. You can also preview how it would look to a person doing the quiz by clicking on preview. You click on preview and that's how it's going to look. Looks quite good. And then when you're ready to send it, you click on the send button. So you can either email it out to people, uh, put the email addresses in here and it will send it, or I can um, get a link, I can shorten that URL, copy that link and put it into an email myself or add it to a, a document, or you can embed it as well. So I'm going to click on link, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer it as a, as a person doing it. So I'm just going to switch to another browser, I'm going to click um, that address in there, and I'm going to do the quiz. So Danny, and I'm going to get it right because... I'm a science teacher, I'll be embarrassed if I got this wrong. And I'll click submit. So that sends it through. Boom, your quiz has been recorded. Thank you. Now if I go back to my quiz, um, what I should see now is on my quiz, immediately there's responses showing, one response. So I've had one response to that. I can click on responses. I can see an overview. I can see my one person that did it. So let's, let's maybe do it again. And I'm going to get it wrong this time. And I'm going to submit. Okay, now if I go back to here, I've now got two responses. I can see the responses there. I can see a summary. I can see overall by question who answered what. Uh, and I can see the individuals as well. So I can see that individual one, Danny, answered that. I can add some individual feedback if I want to. Or I can leave it. And then response two, got those wrong. And these are the scores that they got. So that's all kind of useful. And then the final thing that we can do is, as the person who's set this quiz up, I can click on this little spreadsheet button just up here which will open up a Google spreadsheet with the results in it. So I've then got one spreadsheet with the timestamp when it was submitted, their score, their name um, and the answers to their questions. So there's a nice lot of features there for Google Forms to use in terms of making self-marking quizzes. And As I said, if you collect email addresses and the people doing the quiz will be emailed their scores and if you allocated this via Google Classroom, obviously this integrates into Google Classroom, so Google Classroom could um, have a, a quiz set up as part of a, an activity within Google Classroom and the scores would go into the Google Classroom markbook as well. I'll do Google Forms for um, surveys in another video later. Like always, if you like these training videos, please let me know, please subscribe, please add a comment if you, you want any questions. Um, always good to hear from people that, that like the videos. Do check out my website and do check out the YouTube channel for other hints and tips and guides to using Google and other pieces of, of educational technology as well. Thanks for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.